close. They tease us. And then they want to get it done. were denying it. I know the Knicks had everybody believing that if they got the number one overall pick, they were going to hold on to Zion. But I'm here to tell you, no matter what they tell anybody, they were thinking about moving that pick for Anthony Davis. They were at least thinking about it. Now New Orleans gets the first damn pick, and now they got both guys.
Patrick Ewing, Pink Paul Ball, they Bush in 1985. All right, fine. And last night, comes back. I'm watching it on the ESPN Watch app. Beautiful app. Good, beautiful app. I encourage everybody to go get it. I mean, it's just watch TV on your phone. No question about it. And the New York Knicks had a 60% chance, Max Kelly, of getting the fifth pick. So when the fifth pick was announced, it wasn't the sixth pick that then they went to commercial. It was the fifth pick. And then after the fifth pick was announced and the New York Knicks wasn't it, I said, wait a minute. What? It's the Knicks, the Lakers, and Memphis and New Orleans. Oh, uh, it's coming, it's coming. Oh, that's beautiful. And then they went to commercial and then they came back and they said, the fourth pick is the Lakers. Oh, no. oh, oh. Otherwise, a good man, but I don't like him today. He sits up there and announces the New York Knicks have the third overall pick. And everything that I have been dreaming about went to dust. I am fantasizing one or two scenarios, Max. This is all I'm doing. Either we have Zion with KD and Kyrie coming, or we have Zion to package with Knox, Neil Akina, and others to get Anthony Davis to package with KD and Kyrie. That's all I'm thinking about. And the fact that the New York Knicks ended up with the number three overall pick to me, Max, stripped them of the left. So in my mind, it's not about losing Zion. It's about jeopardizing what we're all hoping for, which is KD and Kyrie coming because I'm panicking because it's the Knicks. What can go wrong will go wrong. And that's how I was thinking, and that's how I've been thinking. Quite honest with you, that's how I'm going to keep thinking until KD and Kyrie come. Because until that moment arrives, I'm going to sit here looking at the New York Knicks. These two dudes are my own. Yeah, well, and that's where I'm at. It. We're talking about a box office dude, a, a potential megastar, a Skywalker. Think about it. When the New York Knicks have that Clyde Frazier wall or Earl of Pro Monroe, you know, they can ball, all famous. You know, we got a championship. Willis Reed limping out. That's nice. Nice. Really nice. Okay. Wait, where's the LeBron James? Where's the Michael Jordans? Where's the Colby's? Where the... Damn it, we didn't even have Harold Minor. I mean, nothing. <laughs> the, the closest thing we had to something like that was, was Kenny Skywalker out of Kentucky. Okay? Yeah. Who was a one-armed bandit. We know that in respect to Kenny wherever you are. You know what I'm saying? I mean, come on, man. I mean, look. Disgusted, I would have been inside, but they teased me. They pulled the Dave Checkins. They pulled the Dave Checkins. Remember how Dave Checkins used to sit up there and lie to New York? He did it so beautifully. He was, that's why he was fabulous. Every year he had us thinking, well, he had a shot against Jordan. He may have modified here. Oh, you know what? You know what? We're struggling right now. Let's get Rolando Blackman. And then Pat Riley doesn't play him. You know, and let John Stark go two for 18. Oh, you know what? And Derek Harper, we ain't by the point. We didn't put Derek Harper in there. We'd be close. And last night was cruel because when you sat up there and see ESPN contributed to this level of misery. Let me tell you how ESPN did this. Hmm. They went to commercial <laughs> after the fifth pick, not after, not after the six, after the fifth pick. Because remember, there was a 60% chance that likely, that likely the New York Knicks would have the fifth pick. So once they got to the fifth pick and it wasn't the Knicks, then they went to commercial and they said it's only 14 left. It's New York, it's LA. Number three pick that damn Mark Taylor. 
<laughs> Who I love is a good man deputy commissioner with the third pick. And I'm on the turnpike. And we got the NBA app on my phone. Yeah. I pull over on the side of the road. I'm watching the draft on my phone. On the ESPN Watch app. Get it. It's beautiful. Let me tell you something. <laughs> I had it. I'm like, yes. And they said the third pick. Knicks. So the top two picks are New Orleans and Memphis. And you up here talking about <laughs> R.J. Barrett is really a really good pick. It and is. the New York Knicks win. You Sean. still have free agency. Sean. You have free Sean. agency. Sean. Sean. Look, man, let me tell you Kyrie, something. Kyrie, KD, come let on. Let me tell you something. Years ago. Years ago, I was watching an episode of Names in the Cosby Show, and it was when uh, uh, one of his children brought up the old boyfriend. Right. And he said, I want to tell you a story. And then he talked about the story, and he said, steak is beautiful, you love it. He said, yeah, paprika, and all of this other stuff. He said, but I give it to you on a, with a garbage can. Not very pleasant, is it? But I'm trying to say to you, Sean, is this. It doesn't matter right now that you're talking about basketball. We'll see them play, but when you got a marquee, a box office attraction outside of Madison Square Garden this Zion, yeah. and you're fasting and you're fantasizing about a Skywalker being at the Garden or or and Woj was right because the New York Knicks weren't going to trade even though they people out there were saying that the New York Knicks and I had heard the New York Knicks was going to trade Zion package him with some pieces to try and get Anthony Davis and I know Anthony Davis's camp probably wanted that out there as well here's the reality my point is pick your pick your, pick your pleasure I either get Zion or I got Anthony with KD and Kyrie. This is me before Mr. Tatum announced that they had the third overall pick and you're sitting up here and you're like, hey, you know, New York Knicks are great. I mean, look at the position of this. We don't care, Sean. We have suffered. What are you talking about? Not today. I'm not even, I'm not questioning his basketball analysis. No, he no. knows the basketball. Yes. I'm saying to you, it's the, the insensitivity. I'm sorry. It's not today, not today. We, I'm we don't, yeah, she, she, you are. Okay, <laughs> this is not the day, not the day for R.J. Barrett, Darius Garland, or if this ain't the day. Right. It was Zion or nothing. Correct. No. And that is what New Yorkers are going through.